what's up you guys welcome back to another video um today i am a little sick so my voice sounds a little bit off a little bit raspy um i've been sick these couple of days and honestly i feel so much better and i felt ready to go ahead and do my makeup today um, being sick is no fun, so um, you guys can tell that my voice is a little bit off, but I am so excited. So today I wanted to show you guys some product that I've been using on my skin. So I'm really big on prepping your skin before you put on your makeup on. So I've been using this retinol cream by Lilian Naturals. Um, I do have a discount code that is linked down below. Um, but this is the number one product that I do recommend for you guys to use on your skin. So any retinol cream is going to help you hydrate your skin before you actually put on any makeup. And I went ahead and put on a little bit on already. So my skin, as you guys can see, is a little bit glowy already. This is going to really help with your makeup. It's going to help it um, smooth correctly on your skin. And I like to put this on before I actually put my foundation on. It's just, I use it like a primer. So it's kind of like a um, first layer before I actually put on my foundation on my skin. And it makes my skin and my foundation look super flawless so i'm gonna go ahead and start with my tarte concealer i do need to conceal my under eyes because as you guys know i have under eyes <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my foundation and the foundation that I like to use is this L'Oreal Infallible and I am in the color 107. <laughs> As you guys can tell, I go ahead and blend in my foundation with my under eye. I still feel like it brightens out my under eye regardless, um, but I really like to blend in my foundation with my concealer. That's just how I do it. You guys can do it however you guys want to. I go ahead and put some concealer towards the end just to brighten out a little bit more, but I really feel like putting concealer underneath your foundation really helps with my under eyes, so that's why I specifically do it. where I go in a little bit more just right here where you guys can see a little bit still of my under eyes um, I just go ahead and put a little small line like this just to get a little bit of my under eye right in um, but not too too dramatic wow you see how that just makes a big difference um, I don't like to conceal too much of my under eye I feel like a little bit goes a long way so happy that I'm back here on YouTube, especially uh, with another video because I missed you guys so much. Um, I've been doing really good. I just been working a lot. I feel like work takes a lot of my time. And also, if you guys don't know, I do photography on the side. So aside from working a full-time job as a banker, um, yes, I work at a bank. Um, <clears throat> I also do photography and um it's just a lot to bounce back and forth but youtube is something that i just love to do on my spare time and honestly i just love the community here so i appreciate you guys for always being so supportive and for being so nice to me um also i just i still live here with my parents and it's also just because I really want to help them out as much as I can since I still am here and I still have them. So I just want to be super grateful for them. But I am ready to maybe continue on. And I am so excited. But I think that I will be moving out soon and I'll keep you guys in touch. Um, hopefully and surely you guys will see a new background besides my old, um, just bed and, you know, just my stuff because I feel like <clears throat> the space here is so small and it's not really fully me anymore. I've grown out of it, but like I mentioned, I'm still here because I love my parents and also I just want to really help them out as much as I can since, you know, I still have them. 
um, I am Hispanic, if you guys don't know, but I am Hispanic. I should do a get to know me video because I feel like I have so many more followers. And, you know, I just wish that I could be more transparent with you guys, which i sure I will find the time to be. Um, but yes, I am so happy to be back here and um, I love you guys. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with <clears throat> my voice. <laughs> my voice. I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with finishing off my foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and use a setting spray. Now this one is coconut um, and it's by the I Heart Revolution um, brand. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit. But I'm going to let it set there for a bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow now. And I'm so excited for my eyelashes because I feel like my eyelashes always make a big difference. My camera died. So sorry about that. So I went ahead and did this eyeshadow from this eye just so I can wrap it up. Um, also, I am done with my baking. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove it. So now that you guys can tell... Um, my skin is hydrating underneath my matte foundation. My skin is a little bit matte, but not too dry. And now my under eyes are looking super good and non-existent. So I went ahead and I did my eyeshadow off camera just so I can see how it would look. And honestly, I really like it, you guys. So I went ahead and used this palette here by um, Milani. Um, this is the Pure Passion, and it has a really good neutral colors in it, as you guys can tell. This is one of my favorite palettes, honestly, and I love Milani just to begin with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get um, this color here, and the color is Totally Fawn. And I'm just going to go ahead and just lightly just go over on the top of my eye. So from here, I'm going to move upwards just so I can make my eye look more um, open and brighter, like here and up. But just make sure you um, use the brush in movements while you go up. I am so happy that you guys are here and watching my makeup video. Um, I feel like honestly I have good techniques that I just haven't shared with a lot of people and I'm not sure if you guys are aware but I used to work at Ulta and um, I proudly like to say that I really like how I do my makeup and I like how I do makeup on other people um, but yeah <laughs> me hyping myself up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this color here it's called Spice. And it's like a reddish color. It's going to bring more color into my eye. And like I said, start on the bottom and move your way up. Like this. And it's okay to be messy like I tell you guys all the time. It's okay to be a little bit messy. Um, just control your brush and always blend, blend. So always do the movement with your brush. <laughs> So for this part, I'm going to go ahead and get my concealer and use a flat brush. Um, and I'm going to get a little bit, not too much, of my concealer. This is normally called a cut crease, but I just, I mean, I feel like I cut the crease, but I don't cut it so um, profoundly. So I go ahead and start from the bottom and I just make a circle on the top. So bottom and make a circle going upwards on the top like that, like that. And like that. Now with another um, flattish brush. I'm going to go in with my palette again. This 
truth or bear color it's a good beige color um it's also good for when you cut your crease with your concealer you go ahead and just pat it on the top so that way it stays like that just make sure you pat it Down a little and I'm gonna go in back and right here I'm just gonna blend it so it doesn't look so harsh I'm just gonna blend just stroke it back leaves a little bit of shimmer And it's looking really good. Well, it looks really good. I like it a lot. And there you go, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put some eyeliner I'm almost done with my eyeshadow so I'm gonna go ahead and get the elf eyeliner this is my go-to eyeliner you guys and it's only like two to three dollars um, this is my eyeliner here so I'm gonna just go ahead and start on the eyeline right here so I'm gonna go ahead and start here this is a trick so you go ahead and get make a line so this is a trick you make a line Outwards like that. Whoa, that was a little bit too long for my taste, but oh well, we're gonna work for it. Work with it, and then just and then just drag it. Not bad, not bad. That was <laughs> that was so much longer than I anticipated. Woo! I have my eyeliner on. I'm so excited. <laughs> so to my favorite part because I love eyelashes so much because honestly you guys I don't have any I don't have any I used to get eyelash extensions but then I completely stopped um but I'm back to strips and honestly you guys I love me some eyelashes to show you guys how I put on my eyelash I went ahead and did this one already off camera um and I'm gonna go ahead and put this eyelash here um it's super easy so I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on the glue and I'm just gonna wait a little I'm feeling so much better I was sick and as you guys can tell my voice is a little bit off um, but I'm feeling so much better, you guys. I went through a really hard time being sick. Um, I didn't get COVID. It was called, um, strap throat. Um, I guess my throat was a little bit inflated. I got a cough. I got a runny nose. I got a fever. And, yeah, it was, it was resting and resting and soup and medicine and i'm feeling so much like myself and i'm looking so much like myself now that i'm gonna do my makeup um so i'm so excited my energy just just has gone up i'm gonna show you guys how to put this eyelash so let me zoom in on my eye okay so you have your eyelash here and you're just gonna place it right above your eye and let it go just like that now it's still hanging so you're gonna grab it from the side and pull it towards the end push it down and let that go just like that you can pull it a little bit not too dramatic and then over here on this side oh it looks like it grabbed it grabbed itself already so that's easily how you can put on your eyelashes um, but then but that was it well wow. just let your eyelash flow with it always put it in the center so make sure you put it in the center you push it there and drag the side and then for the front you drag the front and you just put it where it wants it to go but for some reason my eyelash was already curly enough to just do that itself I'm just gonna let them dry a little now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I use the Morphe palette. 
Um, this one is looking a little busted, but this is the one I use. I go ahead and use um, any of these bronzers here. And I'm going to go ahead and get my fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just use any of those. And I'm just going to start here and push my way down. And always with the blending motion. I always tell you guys, blend, 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 blend. And some on this side. And some on my rosy cheeks. Like that. It, this part is extra, but I'm going to go ahead and use my powder again. Not for underneath my eyes, but for underneath my bronze. So right here, if you just want to clean it up a little, you can just go like this. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in with my go-to, um, this Morphe um, Lippy. And this one's in the color True Story. Put a little bit of my highlight so you go back to the morphe um it has some highlights in here already so this is the one i use and i just dab a little bit right there and right here what do you guys think of my makeup i went ahead and finished it off with the mascara and i am feeling like myself i'm feeling like a <laughs> so I'm so happy yay I am still sick but I'm feeling so much better you guys <laughs>